Dante's Inferno, Cantos 15 and 16. No sooner had I reached the place where one could hear a murmur, like a beehive's hum, of waters as they fell to the next circle, when, setting out together, three shades ran, leaving another company that passed beneath the rain of bitter punishment. The 15th and 16th cantos of Dante's Inferno are set in the third ring of the seventh circle, and is reserved for the violent against God. The second zone is for the sodomites, or the violent against nature. The punishment for the sodomites is to endlessly wander across the fiery sands beneath rains of fire. In the beginning of Canto 15, Dante encounters a man called Brunetto Latini, who seems to be an old friend, or a mentor. Brunetto was a man who was active in Florentine politics and the author of two books, The Tresser and The Tesseretto. Brunetto questions Dante and asks him why he is in hell as he is a living being, and wants to know the identity of Dante's guide, Virgil. Brunetto gives Dante a parting gift of knowledge. Brunetto tells him that, If you pursue your star, you cannot fail to reach a splendid harbor, if in fair life I judged you properly. Brunetto also says that your fortune holds in store much honor for you. One party and the other will be hungry for you but keep the grass far from the goat. Brunetto also makes a prophecy that in Dante's future, the Florentine citizens will become his enemies. Dante refers to them as wild beasts. However, in the end, Dante will be greatly honored. Dante states that these prophecies are old news to him, and that he plans to share this news with a woman named Beatrice, whom he will encounter in paradise. In the beginning of Canto 16, Dante and Virgil hear a muffled sound of the great waterfall of the Flagellathon River, or the River of Boiling Blood. He encounters three wounded people, who run up to him immediately and notice Dante's clothing to ask him of their city, Florence. These people had great wounds, both new and old, and all searing in flames. At the sight of these men and the sound of their wails, Virgil says, Now wait, to these one must show courtesy. And were it not the nature of this place for shafts of fire to fall, I'd say that haste were seemlier for you than for those three. Virgil says this because since these men were great figures on earth, they are worthy of respect, even in hell. The three men were Jacob Rosicucci, Guido Guerra, and Tegahio Aldebrandi. Guido Guerra was a captain who accomplished many things in life with his sword and good sense. He was also a leading participant in the civil strife in Florence, and the grandson of the good Goldrara. The men speak about how Florence is plagued by an arrogant new gentry who are destroying the city because of their lack of restraint. Dante and Virgil continue to the great waterfall of the River of Blood. Virgil asks Dante to give him a cord that is tied around his wrist so that he can drop it off the cliff. This summons a terrible and dark creature from the depths of the dark. Ernest Robert Curtius writes, A loved woman, Beatrice, who has been thus exalted is still within the bounds of Christian philosophy and faith. But Dante goes much further than this. He gives Beatrice a place in the objective process of salvation. Her function is thought of not only as for himself, but also for all believers. This iconic character of Beatrice is mentioned only once in Canto 15 when Dante hears of the prophecy and promises to tell a woman whom he will meet in paradise. This drawing is of Dante and Beatrice's meeting in paradise. Dante also uses the rule of three frequently in the Inferno, which enforces the Christian group of three, the Holy Trinity. Dante wrote three major books that were all organized into 33 individual cantos, which were then organized into three line stanzas that had a collective of 33 syllables per stanza. When Dante, Brunetto, and Virgil are walking down the river together, they are all in a group of three. The three men who surround Dante, that are burned from the rains of the fire, are in a group of three. Dante's Inferno and his other two books are surrounded by groups of three, which enforce the Holy Trinity. John D. Sinclair writes, Dante's whole poem is, in one aspect of it, his vindication of himself under the challenge of slander and exile, and, in other words, his judgment of Florence and the world of his day, and for Florentine of his generation. 
Cantos 15 and 16 deal mainly with the judgment of Florence and how it was changed for the worse, since the iconic characters who are met in the cantos had died.